Oh, post game stuff. Was that it? Oh, there is post game. Oh boy. Should I have started this now? Congratulations, champion. Here, I got you a little something for you as celebration. I don't think it's gonna be that long. There's a master ball. Why? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Professor Magnolia, why didn't you didn't have to come all this way? If everything zombies achieved, it's really the least I could do. Wishing stars and make Dynamax impossible a part of Eternatus. When Eternatus was awake and Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because that Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. Zombie's friends came to our rescue. Dynamax phenomenon has been an important part of the of Galarian culture. Hope everyone will use the power of Dynamax incorrectly in the days to come. So, young zombie, please do what you believe is best. Poor Professor Magnolia. Seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions, since she helped carry out so much of the research researching into Dynamaxing for him. Alright, I think... Let's go see what the po legendary Pokemon has in store for us. If we wander off this tray. <laughs> Also, I want to point out the ribbons that we got from beating the Elite Four, or becoming champion. This is easy to get to. So I just show up here and catch the legendaries. There's no fog here either right now. Uh, zombie, what are you doing here in the woods? What about you? Nobody ever comes in here, since this is the forest where Zostin and Zamazenta are rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking, since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt something like, or you felt like something was calling you here, zombie? That's, mate, that's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I hadn't had a chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, zombie. Honestly, zombie, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. The greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's actually pretty, still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, zombie. So amazing, maybe, that I didn't, or that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Zombie, do you think we'd be up for one more battle? Sure. Thanks, zombie. Then show me the strength that defeated Lee, the greatest champion we ever had. I'm ready when you are, so just say the word. Let's go. One last final battle. Whatever, this is a long video anyways. <laughs> you don't mind if I set up, do you? Though you might have a dark technique, actually. Yeah, it should be fine. Cotton guard? Yeah, good for you. I mean, that does, uh, technically counter me. Drastically. Wait. <laughs> Three times? Oh my gosh, it's way better than I thought it was. I should have been using that. Yikes. That's actually insanely good. <laughs> what the heck? And now you're maxed out in defense. Okay, you'll be my first, uh, issue. <laughs> but if you can't attack me, then that's fine. It makes this very simple and easy to deal with. Oh, he can't. You should be uh, scared now, Hop. 
The champion never let me get this far. In fact, I don't even think I tried at all. Pop has no strategies to deal with ghosts. <laughs> Single ghost at the front of the party completely blocks him. Oh, you didn't heal. That's fine, I don't need to heal either. Unless you have a fairy all of a sudden, but even then I could still do, use a different move. Nothing else should be able to survive. Snorlax shouldn't even survive, actually, because <laughs> my attack's been up to the max. Goodbye. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in. Single Pokemon's enough. You didn't have that last time we fought, I don't think. Strange. I'm surprised you're using your Intellion already. Ouch. Whatever. Do you have something better than the Intellion? Did you happen to catch your legendary? Corviknight, interesting. You almost survived. It's actually quite close. Pink urchin, I should be fine. It doesn't have inner doubt. You can't hurt me. How's that hop? Is that good enough for you? Didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and your mate. Yeah, you couldn't take down one of my Pokemon. Ugh. I didn't switch out, I didn't heal, I didn't use any items. So there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. Why are you here? <laughs> Zami, congratulations on being Leon. Uh, why do you, why are you here? <laughs> Taking it all in stride like it's your due, eh? You cheeky thing. What are you doing here? Shouldn't be off assisting professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. <laughs> you are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Gala region. And I came to care for Pokemon even more than I ever had before. Here, it's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. <laughs> okay. Why is that a key item? Can I just read this? What? <laughs> Forgot my own copy. Lined up to buy it on the day it came out. Ah, oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things of the lovely Professor Sonia in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, expect so. Sonia and Zombie, you both amaze me. Got a lot to live up to here. So what are you young'uns doing here? You're all right. Well, that's it, isn't it? You're putting the rusted sword and rusted shield back in their place? Can't just keep holding on to them forever, right? We... 
We were. Yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. You entirely, forgot entirely, didn't you? What, you think the two of your besties now is Zacian and Zamazenta or something? It must be it, zombie. Why, it felt like you were called here. Let's put the short and shield back and say proper thanks for all the help. If we do, we'll get to see Zacian and Zamazenta again someday. Well, the rock is gone. So. The, the two rocks are there, so they're still out, or maybe they didn't return. Zacian and Zamazenta, thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a little while, but we brought back your professor's relics and all. Alright, that about settles that. Zombie, why don't you and I head back? What are you going to do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little bit more research here in the forest. My power spot detector is going off. Well, well, well. I thought I heard someone making some noise up here. What's going on? What? Oh. What? <laughs> That's very interesting. Okay. Well, well, well. It wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book Galar History. Uh, uh, hello. You brought my book? Of course. Read it from cover to cover. Why, of course. I even wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it one star. What? There are no lies printed in that book. Just plain rude. I am sword... S Swordward? I am Shieldbert. We are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. What's... More than that, we're celebrities. Okay, I guess I didn't get what was going on. New kings descendants. Seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Is there actually a post-game? I didn't think there was. Oh well, could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, 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 they certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We only happened to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. If you got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? But there's no way anyone can prove who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zashin and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a plebeian, and yet so pushy. It's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. What does that even mean? <laughs> I, the Magnificent Shieldbert, am your opponent. Okay, I can take you guys on. Hmm. I'm gonna set up. <laughs> I should be fine. <laughs> Maybe a little low on health. That's not too big of a deal. Unless you have a dark move. Which you don't. Okay. Times is probably enough. Really? Used iron defense. That's annoying. Well, I'm gonna heal then. Well, it's time to sweep. Hmm. I might as well just use drain darts. Bronze song. That's fine. In fact, since it's psychic type, I'll just use this. <laughs> Goodbye. Just 
No more warm-ups. It's time to beat you hollow. Should I be scared of this? No, oh, I'm so scared I'm going to disappear. Goodbye. Oh, how can this be? My my Pokemon. Okay. Because somehow I've defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with. You're certainly strong. It appears my older brother was victorious. Sorry, zombie, I lost him. Well, huh, something on your mind, boy? You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Your brother, isn't that what... The one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child, snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural our ancestor so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute, destroying the mural our family has held in such high esteem for so long. Your mural, you mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Zamazenta and the others? Hold on a moment. Zombie wasn't the one who destroyed it. Well, let's withdraw for now. Next time we shall bring Pokemon to utterly defeat you. Yes, let's do that. With that, farewell. Wait, stop. Give back that wizard sword. Oh, that kitty's gone off. Run recklessly, run off. At least you're calm, Zombie. I expected as much. Surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during battle. Maybe it had something to do with it. Stolen rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his eyes. Can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, Swordwort and Shieldbert were it, was it? I think I might know something about where those two weirdos went. Shall we go over at the lab at Redshurst? Okay. But I didn't even need to ask, thanks. Meet up later then, I'll head back to the lab. Hmm? Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hey, Zombie, glad you're here. Who's this? She's my assistant. I've been so busy with research lately that I've had to bring on some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. Really haven't been doing that all that much. You're Zombie the Champion, right? I'm really glad I get to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here a moment, will you? There's something I would want you to have a look at. Remember my power spot, power spot detector, right? Detects places where dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. That's how I figured it out. Power spot detector reacted when those two got close. So what does that mean? Basically, follow the readings from power spot detector, you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Swordbird and Shieldbert might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Let's get back on topic, though. Place power spot detectors all around Galar, and now it's time to shine. Power spot detectors access? What am, am I just supposed to, like, look? What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, right here? Can't fly there yet. Oh, whoa, there's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium. Could always Dynamax Pokemon at Stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be Eternatus. You already caught it. Maybe it's something related to Sword and Shield weirdos. You should go check it out, Zombie, since you're a snazzy new champion and all. Set up your town map to show you where the strong rea particle reactions are coming from, so have a look at it. Is this just having me run around the entire region? <sighs> hmm? Your? Hello there, champion. So you came. What's going on here? How carefree can you be? 
New champion, you're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. It's actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Pierce. Then his Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. Got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running them up. Much obliged, Hop. Expect nothing less from a gym challenger. Knew we could count on you. Lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, zombie. Chased those red and blue guys and saw them head to Tur Turfield Stadium. Then I heard that uproar and there was no way I could leave it alone. Had to help out. So, or, sorry. I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. Hmm, those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But now I think we should get the Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. Glad for your help against such a tough look opponent, Challenger Champion Zombie. Sure, okay, whatever. Let's go, Dan. I'll lend a hand to... Okay, uh, the four of us against... Sure. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, but I'm still just a bit miffed they upstaged me. Come to, bro of the old champion. Don't know how much I can really help. If I come along, I might just end up slowing down the rest of you. Don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon would be all that lost. Be all lost about this. But he does actually get lost a lot. You coming? Okay. Piers might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother, after all. Alright, we should get going, too. Used to revive. It's standing up! <laughs> Whatever. Phew, looks like things have finally calmed down a bit. It's Dynamax stuff. No matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. I see. I can see your dislike of Dynamaxing still hasn't changed, Pierce. But there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There weren't any, wasn't any trainer anywhere. And the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Right, right, right. The only Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax ban in order to Dynamax, but seems like there's some discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. You feel anything unusual, zombie? Uh, sure. <laughs> so you know something is off, too. There's no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Make sure Turfield Gym takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. Re you lot really helped me out there. Thanks for that. Oh, and Zombie, if you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. Rare League card? Alright then, follow me, little Serena. Well, well, well. Looks like that, Di that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Oh, well, the champion, as expected. Ah, oh, it's you two. I need to be back, or you'd be here. Give the rusted sword back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you, either. Even if it was yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Ugh. Get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff should have been evacuated. Normal rules simply don't just don't apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? Who is this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with a strange taste in hairstyle. His entire style is completely black and white nonsense, isn't it, older brother? You think I'll put any faith in words from rude little punks like you? It seems our experiment was success, younger brother. Quite right. Or, quite quite. Next time, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last we shall reverse the real the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. What was that about Zacian and Zamazenta? You despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild want to stop us, do your best chase after our splendid looking bottoms. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. So you're the ones who cause all this? Stop. Calm down, Hop. You don't gotta act so hard. But they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. 
but still. Uh, fine, I get it. Or you're right, I get it. Good, let's all calm down for a second. Things I'm running their mouths, we know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. They plan to keep doing it. Well, we have to stop them. Yeah. There's no time to be hung out on getting back the Rust Sword. Zombie Paris, we gotta stop those two. Oh, there you are, Zombie. Things are right proper mess. Just when I thought Galar Particle Count around Turfield has calmed down. Started getting huge Galar Particle readings from Holberry Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. So what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? What? A Dynamax Pokemon went on a rampage? Oh, those Sword and Shield weirdos did it? Oh, Sonia. Hmm? Hop and Piers? Piers, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in Spike Mouth? Ex-gym leader. I can be whatever, I, wherever I want. It's not that weird. More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums. He isn't getting the same readings in other towns as I was from Turfield Stadium. I'm worried about Marnie. Ah, but Spike Mouth Gym should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Holberry Stadium and Motosook Stadium. Ah, I see. Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild. There's no way I can simply sit back and watch. What do you say, zombie? Uh, let's head to one of them. It's a spirit champion. The sword and shield weirdos to me. I can poke around the net for sightseeing of them. We'll leave the researching to this, or Sonia was it? We should get, get we should get to the other stadiums and help out. Don't get too close, you lot. Things are pretty dangerous here. We know the situation. Are staff and the spectators alright? Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at you three, the more I see how odd a little grip you are. <laughs> Leave us alone. Came here to help you out. I'm grateful for it. The Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it'd give me trouble. I'd feel a lot more confident about it if, all, if you all joined the battle. Let's do it. Because of everyone's help, we were, no one was hurt, and we were able to turn the tide of the situation. Keep that Pokemon at Holberry Stadium until it can fully recover. Zombie, if you ever need my help, just let me know. Okay. Am I going to have to go through all eight gyms for this? Or I guess seven, because, as we said earlier. <laughs> I suppose I'll see you later, then. Thank you for so much for your help, truly. Champion Zombie, and Piers and Hop, too. Mr. Cabu, I'm glad you remember me. Of course I do. Two were red hot, after all. I'll never forget seeing you off after you competed, your f completed your first leg of the gym challenge. Don't think we really got time for a friendly chin wag. Right, actually, the situation's getting pretty bad over at the stadium. Yeah, that'd be why we're here. Ah, oh, brilliant. The opponent's a bit much to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. But with you all at my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter than by the minute. Let's begin. Looks like we were able to distinguish things this time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here at Motostoke Stadium until it gets its energy back. Zombies, should you have need of my help, please do not ask as it ask. Don't worry, I know. You'll have more work that needs to be done, yes? Go forward, use. I wish you well. Thank you. 
Hey zombie, is that your photo? Wrote on phone ring? First time and never? <laughs> the entire time? Zombie got trouble, those two weirdos have shown up at the Pokemon lab. Okay, what? Sonya, are you alright? They keep rudely, rudely demanding a hand over wishing stars. I'm all right for now, but get over here quick, okay? Those guys, those guys are really creepy. What are those two doing going after wishing stars? Got to help Sony get and get back the rusted sword. Sorry, back to Pokemon Lab. Really doesn't think anything through. Sure does make him seem like a proper fool. I guess the word would be reckless. Right in Pokemon Lab, right next, right? Guess I'll stick by you till we see this through. We know all the wishing stars of the Chairman Rose. The Chairman Rose had gathered are here. We celebrities have an enhanced level of insight in such things. Your non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over to us. Wishing stars are being and being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. Don't know how you knew about this, but there's no way we're giving them to you. That's right, you could never understand how important these wishing stars are. You have no need for them. Goodness, whatever should we do, younger brother? It would certainly seem we have been in in inconvenienced older brother. So the professor are the ones who've been inconvenienced here. Hop! Forcing Pokemon to Dynamax against their will. You've gone all way out of the out of bounds here. Never forgot about getting back to Russ's sword either. Well well, I certainly thought the champion would come, but I didn't think a loser would follow. Must I have you once again taste the flavor of a humiliating defeat? Don't let these goons get put you down. That's right. We lost the battle, but don't lose that rockin' spirit. You're right. We'll fire them together. Thanks, mate. First things first, let's get these weirdos out of here. What, weirdos? Oh, how they wound me, older brother. We call it a ter so terrible thing as weirdos by these ruffians. Indeed, to address royals such as ourselves in such a manner cannot will not be forgiven. The time, this time I've brought much stronger Pokemon to thoroughly trounce you with. Okay, this will be interesting. Oof. It wasn't me, so that's not too bad. That was a crit. Good job. Okay, one Pokemon down. Okay. Well, I can still take these on, you know. <laughs> Phalanx. Okay. Not still nothing too crazy. It's also just a dewblade. I mean I guess that's because you're the sword of the two. Should I switch out? Hmm. I think I will. Yeah, it was a good thing I switched. Not that you'll survive more than a single hit now. It wasn't that smart of you to do that. Okay. One Pokemon down. <laughs> so just just a little few left, right? It should be almost over.
Ugh, quite the vexing predicament indeed, older brother. Surely this must be some kind of mistake when you say, younger brother. I did it. We won. We really won. The exquisite Pokemon we trained actually lost? Oof. The only one because you two teamed up. Still, we offer you rougher against our praise. Oh wait, the team of you te the two of you teamed up too. Get back the Russ's sword and stop forcing Pokemon to go all crazy. Oh sorry, is this a bad time? My apologies for the intrusion. These men are dangerous, be careful, she's working for them. <laughs> That's what she's saying. Oh well done, your infiltration mission was a resounding success, it seems. Have you gathered the wishing stars? Yes. Thanks to Master Sword Wart and Shield Bert buy me so much time. Great. What? Stop! Give back those wishing stars. Oh dear, it seems we've been completely had. <laughs> Why, this moment is so sweet. I don't think I'll need any sugar in my tea later. A battle with you was just a little trick. We'd won before you'd grabbed a single Pokeball. With that, farewell. And stop. Why? Professor Sonia, I'm sorry. Was everything from, was it all a lie right from the start? There's no helping it. It was necessary for the plan. The plan to put Galar under the control of the royal lineage once again. Wait, don't just leave without saying anything. But you were upset. We didn't want to say anything to make it worse. We we're just trying to be considerate, but... Of course I'd be down on myself. It was my fault I got tricked by Nicket in Wulu's clothing. So that's it. No more feeling sorry for myself. That lot made off like bandits with all the wishing stars. It'd be awful if they were used for some evil purpose, so there's no time for feeling down. Oh. <laughs> you got some guts. Should have grown strong in the face of adversary adversity, dearie. Grand. Dynamaxing draws on the true strength from the trust between a Pokemon and their trainer. But that group is likely pouring the Galar particles emitted by wishing stars into Pokemon, forcing them to Dynamax. That's awful. Indeed, what an awful thing to do to Pokemon. The theft of the wishing stars was just the start. Things could be a lot worse from here on. But why? What reason could they have for forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? Sweeto said they wanted to reveal the true natures of Zacian and Zamazenta. I'm curious about what my former assistant said about a royal lineage. Did she mean it literally? Ah, oh, Zombie, look at your town map. Taking huge reactions at four stadiums. <laughs> Certainly get around, don't they? If there's trouble at the stadiums, then Marnie could be in a real bad way. Ah, Spec Mouth seems to be okay. There's no power spot at the stadium there. Ah, righto. Zombie, there's no time to be lying about. Pokemon in trouble, why are we still here? Let's get right out there to lend a hand. Sorry, leave it all to you, but you have to take care of the Dynamax Pokemon. I'll search for the Sword and Shield weirdos in the meantime. Well, I will do that, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do that next time. It's been a long video for this. Or it's been a while, at least. And it sounds like there's a lot more of this to go. Even if it is just fighting more Dynamax Pokemon. Anyways, this has been King Zombies. I'll see you guys next time.